finally, 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 we got something to celebrate concerning Moses Casiedo. Anyway, happy weekend, my people. A happy, happy weekend for me to you. Uh, well, it has been a wet weekend down here. It has been raining. Nobody could even really go out. But I think it's tough anyway. Anyway, we've got some stories concerning Moses Casiedo. Uh, a huge, huge, huge story, and I think we need to talk about it. Anyway, let's go. Hello, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yes, it's your boy SA again. Well, Muscasiedo deal, Muscasiedo to Chelsea. Ah, that deal is one deal that is tiring. Uh, it's all, almost as tiring as the one of. Enzo Fernandez, and I think uh, it has really, really taken so long. Yeah, it has taken so long. Uh, it's over a month now we've been discussing different stories here and there. Uh, Brighton increasing the price because of uh, uh, declaring rights to Arsenal deal, and now I think it has really become something. Uh, a blocker so to, to, to the fact that Chelsea can't really go all out to sign new players because they are going all out for, for just Moses Casiedo. Once they complete that deal, they can make uh, that, that they can now start going out to look for other players like Ryan Shaki to sign. But with the stories out there now, with the latest coming out uh, from the media, I, I believe this is a good news for Chelsea and this is a good news for Chelsea fans. You all remember when it was becoming difficult to sign Musica Siedo and time was ticking out. It was massively ticking out. Every second was ticking out because transfer deadline and one man, one man entered the frame and everything became possible and today we've gotten Enzo Fernandez. Yes, the same one man has come into the fray to discuss Moses Casiedo Day. You know, Brighton is in, in the US, Chelsea is in the US, so, and they're going to meet later by the early hours of Sunday morning. Now, this man has decided to take the bull by the horn. I'm not talking about any other person than Bed Dad Egg Pali. Yes, he has decided to take the bull by the horn. Remember what he did for the case of Enzo Fernandez. When he enters the room, everything changed. Everything changed. Yeah, so according to reports, uh, it says uh, Bedad, Egbali, Paul Wits, Wits, Winston Lee, and Lawrence Stewart are set to meet the senior officials from Brighton over Moses Casiedo deal. That is a huge, huge good news. From my own end, it is really, really awesome news because I think uh, uh, Christopher Vivelli has been handling this deal like uh, sluggishly and slowly. It is now time for action. It is now time to let us know if we are going to sign this person or not. So that's why I say finally it's time to celebrate because I know any time Baghdad enters the fray, it is always a done deal. It is always, always in the day. And deals that are very, very difficult like this, he ends up signing them. Uh, just like the Enzo Fernandez. You all, we all know how I took us so much pain, so much sweat just to sign Enzo Fernandez. Despite Benfica coming out to say no, no, no. But when Baghdad got into the fray, got into the negotiations, it was a done deal and it's the same thing that is going to happen. I like this one. He said, Chelsea, Chelsea remained calm on Moses Casiedo deal. The conversations will continue directly with Brighton. That is where, you see the point I'm, I'm trying to drive at now. That is where Big Dad comes into play. And when the dawn comes in into negotiation, forget it. Just forget it. It is going to be a done deal. So Chelsea fans, I think we have everything to celebrate as it is right now. We have everything to celebrate because at the end of, between now and the end of the new week, Casiedo will be Chelsea. Casiedo to Chelsea is going to be a done deal. And, and I believe back that so much that him getting into, into uh, the, the fray, into, into, into the negotiations, it's we only come out positive for Chelsea. 
bad as it is, right? We really, really need Muscacedo. Yeah, you could we could say there are other targets out there. We could say there are other players out there, but and also we could also say yeah, let's let's take let's let's use Santos and Santos and Cassidy. Come on, this is Chelsea. Cassidy and Santos will not be able to pick the pressure that it's gonna come. One mistake from them, and we fans will roast them. So that is why you see Chelsea is going all out for for Muscacedo and even post every other every other deal. According to reports, Ryan Shaki's deal is even on standby. Despite the fact that Chelsea has already made contact with 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 uh, with Leon, with with the the, the 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 agents, Chelsea is going all out for Muscacedo. So once this deal is done, once Baghdad can complete this deal, we will go out for other target. I'm 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 I'm, say, I'm saying this now. I'm saying it here. Baghdad going into this deal. It only end up as a done deal. I'm gonna come back to this, and I like you to also comment. What do you think? What do you think about Baghdad coming into this deal? And we should just remain calm, right? We should just remain calm. And uh, I like you to drop a comment on the comment section. And if it's your first time here on our channel, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon too to get notified whenever we drop in new videos.